Welcome to the 11 Points Countdown! Yeah! Today we are counting down the results of a poll on the 11 worst fast food restaurants as voted by more than 5,000 readers on 11points.com. I'm Sam Greenspan, joined today, back by popular demand of the show, Marquise Alexander! Yes! Otherwise known as Sam's black friend. My black friend! <laughs> the number 11 worst fast food restaurant is... Sbarro. Ooh, I think the word Sbarro <laughs> is the Italian word for dry ass mall pizza <laughs> right. that nobody eats past right. 12. Have you ever seen a Sbarro freestanding no! outside the mall? No! No! It, right. just, it, it, it just gloms off of the people who hate waiting in line at McDonald's. Right. So they say, okay, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll go do Sbarro. Right. The entire business plan is no one's going to wait for the great steak and fries. Yes. So they will come to Sbarro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Number 10, worst fast food restaurant. Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's. The, the, the only reason that restaurant has any relevance is it had Paris Hilton taking down a, a burger like it was uh, Tommy Lee's cock. Um, <laughs> like it's, it's the burger joint that has to get, trick people into going there by having beautiful women eat food they would never eat. The number eat. of guys who will go buy a burger because they saw an attractive, famous woman have sex with that burger is surprisingly <laughs> high. This is how irrelevant Carl's Jr. is. I'd rather talk about Kate Upton than Carl's Jr. Well, and I'm a fat most, dude. Yeah. And I'm a fat dude. <laughs> the, the number nine worst fast food restaurant is Burger King. You know what? Burger King was my first job when I was 16. Okay. And coincidentally, it's also the site of my first blow job when I was 16. You got busy in a Burger King bathroom? I, I got busy uh, in the freezer section okay. in the Burger King. <laughs> I had it my way. <laughs> And she took the special sauce. Oh. <laughs> special sauce is McDonald's. Number eight, worst fast food restaurant, Crystal. Dude, look, they should call Crystal Fake White Castle or Poop Castle. If they had a movie, it would be Harold and Kumar go to Crystal, get dysentery, and die. <laughs> and they make you know it's Southern, like, instead of calling it, like, a chicken slider, it's like a chick apostrophe n slider so they're like oh i'm in the south because they don't say the e in chicken and it's horrible right. like i've had one i was like this is shit in the shape of a white castle and number seven speaking of white castle is white castle the seventh <laughs> worst fast food chain <laughs> by the way that means that, that people voted it worse than crystal you know what those people those there's a lot of west coast readers to your blog and to like all those people i'm gonna look directly in the camera and say fuck you White Castle <laughs> is the greatest burger. Sorry, no. White Castle is not a hamburger at all. It is the greatest White Castle ever. We would not have Cal Penn on house if not for freaking White Castle. <laughs> right. Obama would not have had him as an exactly. advisor if exactly. not for him being, going to White Castle. So that is the greatness of, of, of White Castle. It gave us Cal Penn. And John Cho, to a lesser extent. Yes. Number six, worst fast food restaurant. <laughs> Hot dog on a stick. You know what their motto should be? You know, our lemonade's good, our food is bad, but anytime you can get women to eat dick-shaped food is okay. <laughs> you are you are just raunchy today. <laughs> I am. I'm a ham sandwich yeah. on bread. <laughs> Meat on a stick is a wonderful entity. Like, in, if you go to if you go to like foreign countries, yes. you eat everything on sticks. Hot dog on a stick is really our only mainstream meat on a stick in this country. Like, there's no other mainstreamed stick meat. <laughs> I'm trying you, can't, to you can't think of one because I there really is a can't think. hot dog in a stick. Right. That is that is right. our version of a kebab. Right. Number five, worst fast food chain, Arby's. The Depression era sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, Arby's is like the Thomas Guide of food. It's not even relevant anymore. The Thomas Guide being a map at yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, the, right. It's like a, a piece of horrible uh, roast beef that was probably good in the 1950s when they first made Arby's. But who the <laughs> hell says, you know what I'm feeling today? I would like a roast beef sandwich that I have to smother in horsey sauce right. and ever to make it edible. I do like that you brought up horsey sauce, though. Arby's should close Arby's and just sell horsey sauce. Right. The number four worst fast food restaurant, and I am. Furious this got voted this high. Taco Bell. <laughs> Look, Taco Bell is horrible. I'm a Del Taco guy. Uh, you're, you're getting gasps out of the crowd. Just I'm a, gasps. I'm a, Taco Bell is horrible, but their Dorito Taco, I will give them big ups and props. Maria, I haven't tried the Dorito Taco, but I do love when they came out with the Crunchwrap Supreme, which was like, <laughs> let's just take all our ingredients and dump them into yes! one thing, and it turned out delicious. All their stuff just added up yes. to something. It's like a Long Island iced tea of Mexican food. Like yes. they just dumped everything yes. in and it was delicious. Number three, worst fast food restaurant is McDonald's. This is an interesting fact. Um, the number one largest uh, owner of real estate in all the world, the Catholic Church. Number two, 
McDonald's. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Yes, read Fast Food Nation. You need to read more, Sam Greenspan. <laughs> read? You can watch the movie of Fast Food Nation. Why would I ever read it? <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> All right, number two. Worst fast food restaurant. I'm going to say this and then duck. KFC. No, 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 no. The fact that you called it KFC, again, I'm looking at the camera. It is Kentucky Fried Chicken. You can call it whatever you want. It is Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't care what rebranding campaign that they try to do and sell us. It is Kentucky Fried <laughs> Chicken. That's what the Colonel sat and died with his little bolo tie right, on bolo, right. to make it. He was like dying in the wheelchair. I want to make sure it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then somebody came along and said, you know, Americans don't like to be associated with fried anymore. So let's call it KFC and then call it Kitchen Fresh Chicken. Right, all the British Who's people kitchen? here said that, right? Yes, yeah. all the British right. people said that. All the British right. people said no. that. I'm glad that you didn't go on a rant about KFC. Well, you know, I KFC, <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> if you want fried chicken, I don't think of KFC. But if I want KFC, no other chicken in the world will do. Fair point. The number one worst fast food restaurant in the country is Long John Silver's. <laughs> you, I, Have like, you seen one in the past 20 years? I, ah. th there's one in the Midwest, and then there was a man inside who was like 600 pounds, and he was drowning his fish in his salty tears, of <laughs> thinking about the, the horribleness of his life that he couldn't even afford to go to Red Lobster. That's a sad place to be when you can't afford Red Lobster. I know. It's like, that's a tough, that's dire straits right there. Hey, you know what? There was many times in my life where I couldn't afford Red Lobster, so I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't be, uh, that was like last week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's thank Marquise Alexander. Thank you, Marquise. Very even-tempered as always. I'm glad that you brought the fat guy in to talk about food. I would have been <laughs> insulted if you brought some skinny, pretty person. Oh, and food. You're pretty. You're pretty. I am pretty. Don't let anyone tell you you're not pretty. It's the hair. Uh, you can check out the full results of this poll on 11points.com, see where all the other fast food restaurants ranked, and please check out 11 Points because top 10 lists are for cowards. Yeah. Wimps. <laughs>